<laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Hello, everybody. I am Wiggle Rito, and I am back with another video this week. We're going to have another How to Get Better With video, and if you haven't already guessed, we're going to be focusing on Boba Fett. So Boba Fett actually is so fun to play as, but a lot of new players just don't like playing as him just because he's obviously way more difficult than the average blaster hero. And while that is of course true, Boba is also, if you just put in the tiny bit of practice, about a week, maybe a week, sometimes it's even less, you can get to be unstoppable with Boba Fett. So we're going to have four segments to go over in this video. First is Star Cards for Heroes vs. Villains, which is the game mode you're watching right now, and Star Cards for Galactic Assault. We're also going to be going over some of the heroes you definitely want to watch out for, and some heroes you want to play a little more aggressive towards. Then segment number three is three of his best maps for Galactic Assault. And we're going to round it off with segment four, which is some overall just tips, maybe things you should stop doing and things you should definitely start doing. And if you have been enjoying and learning a lot from these How to Get Better With videos, I would appreciate for you to subscribe and like the videos, and maybe share to a friend if they need it, because these videos tend to take a lot of time and effort to make. So with that all out of the way, I think it's time to get right into how to get better with Boba Fett. So now we're going to start off with the star cards you want to be using for Galactic Assault. We're going to do that first, then we're going to move to Heroes vs. Villains. So the three star cards you want to be using for Galactic Assault are Born to Fly, Extended Exposure, and Fuel Efficiency. But of course, these are not the only three star cards you can use in GA or else you won't be good. Of course, there's other options that are some, some of the other options are like this. You can substitute Quick Refill for Fuel Efficiency, but if you find yourself being super experienced with Boba Fett after a short time and you're, you're actually like genuinely really good with him, you could substitute Augmented Gear for Fuel Efficiency. And a star card you definitely never want to take off no matter what mode you're in is Extended Exposure. So what this star card does is for his mill ability, which is called For the Hunt, it makes it active for 6 more seconds. So we'll go over this middle ability a lot more in the segment number 4, which is the tips section. So the star cards you want to be using for heroes vs villains are extended exposure, focalize, and acute concussion. But if you're really really new to Boba Fett, like he's below level 5, you could substitute fuel efficiency for either focalize or acute concussion. So now that we've got the star cards done for both modes, we're going to move on to some heroes you want to watch out for in Galactic Assault and some heroes you want to play a little more aggressive towards. And yes, of course, these also apply to heroes versus villains. They just apply more to Galactic Assault because heroes aren't the only thing you come across in Galactic Assault. So you need to be a little more aware and cautious of if a hero is actually sneaking up on you. So I'm just going to get this out of the way pretty quickly. Boba Fett, there's not really any heroes you want to play a little more aggressive towards. Just because Boba Fett isn't a type of hero you fight other heroes with, of course, in Galactic Assault. But if I had to name a hero, it would be Finn, just because he doesn't have a lot of health. If you can get a full rocket barrage on him, he's not going to be doing too hot. And then a couple shots with the normal blaster would finish him off. But I would say if you got to Boba Fett in Galactic Assault, and you see another hero, I would just turn around and go the other way. You're not going to have too much of a fun time, especially if they have a lightsaber. So now that section is over, we're going to move on to section number 3, which is 3 of his best maps for Galactic Assault. Those maps would be Crate, Tatooine, and Takodana. Of course, you wouldn't be bad on maps like Nebu, Geonosis, Hoth, stuff like that. But just the last phase of Hoth is kind of too close quarters for him. Same with Nebu. And Geonosis would be pretty good. It's super open, but it's also just Geonosis. It's pretty boring. You're not going to have too much of a fun time. But overall, if you can avoid the maps like Death Star 2 that are just super close quarters and everywhere you look, there's just a full health Wookiee Warrior. Avoiding maps like that is a good place to start if you want to start getting good with Boba Fett. So that's going to bring us to section number 4 and it's by far going to be the most helpful and the longest segment of how to get better with Boba Fett. So I think the most useful thing or one of the most useful things with Boba Fett is actually his melee. Taken, my scary looking enemy. So as you can see in those clips, you can absolutely shred someone if you're, maybe your rocket barrage is on recharge and your gun's about to overheat, sometimes you can just spam the melee button and usually they'll die. So the second tip is about his LBRB ability, it's called For the Hunt. So this ability actually does a lot of different things. So the first thing he does is obviously just scans the area. 
it highlights anyone in yellow that's relatively close to you so it's, you can see them through walls ceilings and floors the second thing the ability does is actually takes you off of the mini map so nobody on the enemy team can see you and the third thing and in my opinion best thing that it does is gives you unlimited fuel for the time that it's active that's why i was saying earlier that the extended exposure star card is so good because it makes the ability active for six more seconds so that means six more seconds of unlimited fuel six more seconds of a scan and six more seconds of you disappearing from the mini map so this next tip applies to his lb ability which is a concussion rocket so what this ability does is whoever it hits which it can hit as many people it doesn't just hit one person so it has the same super blurry vision effect that the officer's flashbang does to someone but it doesn't stop there on top of that they actually makes their blaster overheat as long as they're not a jedi obviously if they have a blaster whether they're a reinforcement infantry or hero as long as they have a blaster their blaster will instantly overheat and another great thing it does is actually specifically for Chewbacca, not Wookiee Warriors, just Chewbacca. Since Chewbacca's bowcaster actually can't overheat, it doesn't run on a cooling system like every other gun. It actually makes Chewbacca's furious bowcaster ability instantly cancel if he has it active. So that's a nice little tip if you're in Heroes vs. Villains and, you, and the Chewbacca's being really annoying. Once you see him raise that arm and do his Wookiee yell so he's activating his furious bowcaster, if you drop a concussion rocket on him, it'll instantly cancel it. The next tip applies to his RB ability, which is his rocket barrage. So as you're seeing now, a great thing to do is actually activate rocket barrage. Don't be too high in the air or else it'll, it won't work. Be relatively high in the air, activate your rocket barrage, and then just let go of your jetpack. So while you're falling on them, it'll do a lot more damage because all the rockets will actually hit them. And no, if you're asking, none of the rockets from the rocket barrage actually damage you. So the next tip is actually just a good way to practice with him because the most thing you want to be practicing is his aim. But I assure you, the more you do it and the more you practice, the more easier it'll be. And if you're looking for a good mode to do this in, actually, co-op comes first to the mind, obviously. But actually, the best mode is the game you're watching right now, Heroes vs. Villains. And one of the main reasons for that is actually because there's no battle points. Right when you die as Boba, you just press A again and then respawn as him. Because guess what, the more reps you do it and the more times you play as him, the better you're going to get. So Heroes vs. Villains is the mode you want to be doing for actually just practicing your aim and just how to use your abilities, when to use them, and stuff like that. But once you actually get pretty decent with that, you want to move to co-op and then maybe to Galactic Assault. Because that really focuses on actual troopers because troopers don't have 700 health like heroes do. Then really the last aspect with Boba Fett is just managing your fuel so you don't just run out of fuel every 15 seconds. And really that's the main reason why two of the three and sometimes three of the three star cards are related to fuel. But if you found this video helpful make sure to subscribe and like because it did take a quite bit of effort to make as they all do. And as always if you have any questions about anything, an ability, when to use an ability, a star card, anything like that make sure to leave them in the comments I will respond. And just a little heads up for something that's happening this weekend or sometime next week we're going to be doing a BF2 with the boys except it's not BF2 it's going to be Minecraft. So that video should be super awesome, so stay tuned for that. And as always, I am Wiggle Burrito, and I will see you guys in the next one.